Welcome back everyone, Jared is here with some more Dragon Quest Heroes. And in the last episode, we made a little bit more progress into the tower. And hopefully we will make it to the top this time. I'm expecting one big boss battle and then we can speak to the goddess. That's uh, my assumption at the, at the moment. So let's see how that goes for us. So the Pinnacle of Light. Let me see if anything else is unlocked uh, while we were... Before we do that. And it's the only story mission, but sometimes a little side mission will pop up. Right, so the Pinnacle of Light. I'm guessing this is going to be like the end of the game right here. I, I don't just you know just looking at it, it, everything has a little location. It doesn't look like a regular mountain. This just looks like the like we're we're going into hell, right? We're gonna go in there and we're gonna go fight the boss of the game. That when I, when I start fighting that place, I'll know I'm at the ending. And this island looks like it could be something at some point. Maybe it's a cave. Yeah, maybe it's one of these. Like, a not a fireplace exactly, but similar. All right, so let's uh, let's get going. A ferocious trespasser. Uh, our arrows have... Wait, are we going to be fighting a big cat? Huh, all right. Our heroes have reached the highest floors of the pinnacle. Not far now to the oracle and an audience with a goddess herself. How powerful is the goddess? Was she able to hold them off? Does she have guards holding them off? Are we gonna run into some allies? When I hear goddess, I feel like she has her own little, her own little uh, special guard. Oh. Not good. That thing's trying to batter down the door and force its way in. The oracle. It must be on the other side. The oracle. Then we must fight. We cannot let our only hope of saving her be lost. Cease and desist, fiend. You shall not be permitted to go a single step further. Well, it's kind of a cat. Huh. A ferocious, yeah. Marquise de Leon. Ooh, what in tarnation? He actually chased. Ooh, he actually. Oh my God! And those orbs. Oh God! I just rolled into the orb. I'm gonna have to not go into the orbs at all. That's probably the strategy here. Man, I was certain I rolled out of that. There you go. Brother. He's gonna sit right into that. But look at the damage. I love that. Yeah, have some more damage. You fool! I pity the fool that... I don't know. I forgot what Mr. T used to say. Was that even Mr. T? That was Mr. T, wasn't it? Alright, let's see. Uh, this is probably not going to have that much of an effect. Ooh. Let me revive this guy. Okay, this, this boss is a toughie. Oh my god, these, these uh, attacks here. All right, let's let's go big. Let's go big or go home here, right? Oh, we're going big! Boom! Oh my God! <laughs> oh man, we hit him with everything on this. This is great. I love this character. She's so good. She is so good, guys. Drop one of those on. You know who would do good here? Terry. Oh, he stunned me while I did my Falcon Slash. Well, alright. But I get more, um... Oh, actually, they're actually summoning some stuff. What is this? I'm gonna have to use one of these for the team. 
Maw Keeper. I'm gonna go for you. Ugh. Wait for me, Hackasaurus. Falcon Slash. F -f 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 Falcon Slash. Because now we have more clones, so ow. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Oh, Terry still died. Oh, no, that sucks. We've never had this many people die before. Kill the small keeper, they're just gonna keep spawning. Got him, boys. We got him. Oh, Terry! Terry, save the squad, Terry! Go big or go home, Terry. It's on you. I don't know if our best bet. Oh, look at that. Look at how many fucking doubles we have, boy. What do you do when there's this many doubles? You don't know what to do. I don't even know how many more doubles I got. It looks like I got one or two more doubles when I powered them up. Oh, we missed! Oh no, we didn't. We got him. Watch out, watch out. We have some of this. And now have a bang. Oh, good lord. Have a bang. Grab that Hackasaurus and summon it. Actually, we don't even need to. He's, he's gonna die soon. I'm gonna summon it anyway. <clears throat> Got him. Terry. Good job. We lost a lot of characters there. I think like three or four people died. I think Terry died twice. Jers died once. And... Looks like we're taking damage again. Um, we actually still have to finish the stage, don't we? No, we don't. That was nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, right, dude. We were getting knocked out left and right there. Were we not high enough level? Well, I did take a lot of free damage from the orbs. That they were shooting out some weird energy. And the boss did land a lot of heavy hits. And I was not really blocking versus him at all either, so... That that would uh that would explain a lot. Plus we don't really have a tanky character. Maybe it's time I swap out Terry for a tank. Maybe it's time I bring back Yangus. Or Kirill, because he ups the defense of the whole party. Both are uh, good options. Bianca was on fire though, good lord. She did so much damage to that beast. Wow. This place in half grand. Do you reckon that's the Oracle over there? Could be. But I don't see no goddess. Maybe she's not in, or... Wait! Behold! Oh. Ah. Child of light. Brave companions. You have done well to guard this, my sanctum from harm. You have my thanks. The goddess of light. This is her. Hear me, O oh goddess! I beg you! A comrade of ours has been swallowed by the darkness. We seek your counsel. Can she be returned to her former self? There is a way. Your companion can be restored. And the benighted world tree saved thereby. She can. And the world tree too. They can truly both be saved. However, the means to do so is yet beyond you. Oh. You require a greater power. The true power of the light. <sighs> Child of light, north and east of this place, the Shrine of Scales lies hidden beneath the waves. You must journey there and undergo a trial. 
I must seek further counsel first. Oh, goddess! Velasco of the Children of the Night spoke to us of certain things. He would have us believe that the imprisonment of the Dark Dragon has caused our world's true nature to become distorted. This is why he plunged Yggdrasil into darkness, why he invites the Dark Dragon's return. Could it be true? Could the balance of our realm really have been corrupted? She's going to give us a vision. Many, many eons ago, a pact was made. Shadroth and I were to maintain the balance of dark and light in our realm. But as our world matured, and monsters and humans grew greater in number, the darkness came to outweigh the light. Shadroth, having gained this advantage, brought forth yet greater and deeper darkness and sought to bring the world entirely under his dark dominion. Together, the Children of Light and I fought to thwart his intentions. And after a long and arduous struggle, the Black Dragon was at last imprisoned. Then, in order that his dark power might not rise again, that he might never be awakened from his slumber, I created the world tree, Yggdrasil, who drinks in all the world's darkness, and within whose great veins that darkness becomes light. This is the true story of the struggle between light and dark, of the world tree's birth. So, if Velasco's scheme succeeds, the Dark Dragon will reawaken, and the world will be plunged into darkness once more. It will. And so the seal which binds him cannot be suffered to break. Child of Light, mm. the fate of our world rests in your hands. You must free the world tree from the grip of the darkness, and prevent Shadroth's reawakening, no matter the cause. Alas, my physical form was lost in the last great battle with the Dark Dragon. As such, I am unable to fight beside you, to guide you as I would wish. However, the Circle of Light, in whose heart my power was sealed, will surely aid you in your quest. The Circle of Light? That's the thing the Elven Elder was talking about. Yeah, that's right. The thing that'll try blew his crown, isn't it? Where do you reckon we can find it, your holiness? The circle of light. Bluey. It too may be found in the shrine beneath the waves. Superlative. Both the power of the light and its armlet can be obtained in an identical location. In which case, we must depart with haste. This is not a time to be lingering superfluously. I am not wrong. Every minute we waste, Yggdrasil grows weaker. And the seal binding the Dark Dragon with her. Dear Goddess, I give you our thanks. And a promise. I hereby swear that I shall overcome the trial and deliver our world from peril. I truly believe that you will, my child. Now, you must go. But know that I watch over you. Always. So is she like a mom? Not really, she's not our mom, but... Who is she exactly? Because she fought with the Children of Light. Oh, 
crap. What in the heavens? <gasps> this thing's huge, man. Confound it! The pinnacle of light will not last long. I must think. I must devise a counter strategy. Let it go, lad. It's already too late. Huh? Get us out of here now! Can we not save the goddess? Dude. After all that work to save the goddess, she still dies? I, I know she's not dead. She probably can appear at many different locations that have that type of mirror. That's just a guess. I have no idea if there is more of those mirror type things. That was the biggest monster I, I think I've ever seen. Luckily for us, it didn't seem too interested in the stone cloud. We're safe for now. It's gone, and our sole means of consoling the goddess with it. Maybe under the waves, because she kept telling us, go there, go there. Maybe the goddess is a real person, and she was communicating to us through that mirror. And maybe she, her message, go to the wave, you'll find everything under the wave. You'll find a new way to, to get the true power of light. You'll find uh, the crown, right? The crown, so chances are Helix probably went there ahead of time, and Helix is probably there. There's a, there's a chance for that, right? And... Maybe the goddess is there too. Maybe the goddess is the one that gives us the trial herself. So that's why I'm like, you know, the goddess just died out of nowhere. There's no way she just died right now. That is too... That's That would be too easy to kill the goddess just like that. Like just, oh, a monster came and smashed her building. That's it. She, she died. The building destroyed her. And it's over, man. It's, uh... Yeah, just... that That doesn't add up to me, so... Um, I'm pretty sure when we go under the wave to that temple, we do the trial. I feel like she's going to be the one testing us. I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I know we'll run into her again. That's for sure. Um, the pinnacle of light is gone. Yes, yes. I can scarce uh, believe that a beast capable of such destruction exists. The size of it was unimaginable. It was ridiculously huge. Did you see how small Velasco was? It was like a flea. Or he was like a flea on that beast. We're gonna have to fight that at some point, I think. We would have to fight it from the stone cloud, I bet. I bet it's gonna be one of those battles. Most RPGs I play, uh, there's always a battle from the ship. There's, there's usually a beast so large you battle from the ship. A lot of a lot of the games that I remember. Final Fantasy and stuff. And Yeah, yeah, there'll probably be a battle. We'll probably fight that from the stone cloud, I'm sure. Uh, it's the kind of thing one usually only hears about in fairy tales, but it was real. That was born. Uh, I don't even know how to uh, pronounce that. Bjorn? I want to say born, and the J is silent. I don't know. The Behemus. <laughs> you know of this creature? Yes. Papa used to tell me stories about him when I was little. He called him the Monster Mountain. I too have heard tales of such a beast, but I believe then... Uh, to, to be just that, to see the creature of myth made flesh is ominous indeed. Velasco summons even creatures of legend to his bidding? I mean, what can the world do to something of that size? Like, we don't exactly have organization here. This isn't like Lord of the Rings or something. Take out its legs like they, like they did to those big siege beasts or whatever. Or, or this isn't exactly uh, 300 or something. I don't know. It's just a group of uh, pretty cool characters here, and that's that's all Earth's got, you know. It's <laughs> uh, truly he must despise children of light with an intense passion to perpetrate such doings. Um, hey, that must uh, that he must. It, it's like he's trying to wipe out any sign that the children of light ever existed, which means he'll probably try to destroy the shrine of scales and the circle of light too. The shrine of scales. We're gonna have to do that next episode. Bliminike. If that happens, we'll never get Cottle back or the World Tree either. I am going to put Yangus on my party for the next episode, though. 
then I must undergo the trial, claim the true power of my clan right away. Without it, God will be lost to us, and the Black Dragon will surely reawaken. We know the dragon's going to awaken, but it's how it's going to awaken after we get this power of light. To the Shrine of Scales, friends, Velasco cannot be allowed to succeed. So we got 500 EXP, very sad amount, and 500 bucks. We got 500 all across the map, and we got a mod map, so we can go uh, fight that boss again at some point. So guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll check out these quests and these new items in the shop. Ooh, this is going to be good. We'll check all this out next time. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. See ya.